toes, how you say, walk on my tippy toes. <laughs> You know, when you said that, that entire scene just came back into my head. See? Yeah. <laughs> That's all I think about. Okay. And then this is the bruise under the nail you were talking about. Okay. Well, your nails look great. And um, I would be... I would be uh, happy to do this for you, but it's not shaking on this side. I don't know the answer to that. Okay. So I'm gonna, that was so ugly. Anyhow, that nail. Yeah. Will it grow? It will continue yeah. to grow. Okay. It probably, you know, grows pretty slowly. Yeah. But um, the key is that it's not going to give you any discomfort and it was pushing right up against yeah. the skin there yeah there's no break in the skin or anything like that oh, there okay. so yeah Is this where the infection started? Second toe. The second toe? Okay. Yeah. They're normally pretty down to good size, but say I don't have the wraps on, that's why. Mm -hmm. It looks like the nail growth center, which is back here, mm -hmm. that some cells were left over here, and then just a couple over here. That's why that nail's growing. But um, yeah, I mean, it's something we can redo, but we would definitely want your your sugars controlled. Sure. Um, in order to know that it will heal. You test them every day? Yeah. Okay. Do you, where do they generally run in the mornings? Uh... Anywhere from 140 to 200. Does this piece get caught on socks and stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tree on. given how painful these are I, I you would be someone where I would say you're the perfect candidate for removing these now, a lot of people who are much older can't get down to their feet they can't take care of them afterwards so we that isn't even an option on the table for a lot of patients but you know again but we're able to keep it comfortable like this right yeah so it's it's a choice and work 
then before running season we can always come in and uh, remove part of the nail or the whole nail mm -hmm. um, for you, like right in here. Now, are you running Boston? No, I'm not fast at all, so okay. running grandmas. Okay, which is in June. Yes. Okay. And then sometimes you lose the nail and sometimes it grows back normal and sometimes it doesn't. Can I ask another question? Absolutely. So on the other foot I have that bone growth on the side of my foot which doesn't really bother me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt. Uh, but I'm told that might be arthritis or... Are you talking on the big toe joint? Yeah. Um, again, that's only on one foot, not on the other foot. Right, and again... Right, so I'm going to use a little power thing here and we're going to thin this out a little bit for you. to have friends all over the world, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I couldn't hear because the vacuum was going. What was in Wurz Würzburg? My good friend that I watched grow up like a nephew. This will crawl it, you know. I mean, say so he did fantastic on that table. Mm -hmm. So he was excellent. And they said what they think happened when Murray went home after that surgery, they let Murray go too long, too early. Too soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I see if he had been at the hospital, they would have been able to detect that, you know. But I already knew something went wrong by the second day when he was home. Because Murray don't, uh, just, he could It was literally till the nail, uh, the, <coughs> The bone, mm -hmm. it was past the bone. Hmm. That part of the, oh my God, I was like, whoa! Now I couldn't feel anything, obviously, because he, you know. Numbed it. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I was like, wow, that is sad. <laughs> Dang. So these are going to feel a ton better. Yes, these already feel better. Good, good, good. Oh my. And as soon as they go on the shoe, I'll be dancing around. <laughs> good, that's what we want. That's what I want to hear. You limp in and you leap out. Huh? You limp in and you leap right. out. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I used to do my cuticles in my hands. Mm -hmm. I can't do that now. I can only do the cuticles on this hand. Oh, because you can only I, use them. Right, yeah. and that upsets me to no degree. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I haven't done my cuticles in shh, 10, 10, at least 10 years. Well, you can always go get a manicure. I don't trust them because those manicurists, they don't clean the nail proper, the nail thing properly. Instruments, yeah. And I don't know who to go to, who's a reputable person. You know, I mean, they're not even licensed, literally. Well, they are. Hey. Can I watch what I eat, kind of? Is this where the infection started? Second toe. The second toe? Okay, yeah. They're normally pretty 
down to good size, but see I don't have the wraps on, that's why. Mm -hmm. The live one, the doctor helped her too. Although I'm back to Did you know that? Oh, Dr. Sperling, pardon me. No, that's okay. Okay, I have to go in Dr. Sperling. Yeah. Perfect. I still got the old cards of paper. Huh? <laughs> Do I remember when you got your daughter and now she's in college? I know. Isn't that crazy? Is she doing good? She's doing great. That's good. She is uh, already involved with giving tours. To really? prospective students, yeah. Oh my God. Can you believe it? Well, my God. Time does go quickly, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. No, I just uh, come here and go to my doctor. Well, good. It gets you out of the house. Dr. Cohen, I saw him several, February 27th. Mm -hmm. You're not breathing for two hours, that'll that'll get you, huh? Yeah, but I could use the backup one, but I didn't turn it on. And the backup one used to be you could fill them if they were half full. Now you can just fill them when they're empty. So you gotta take all the air out, let all the air out, oxygen out, and then fill through the hole. That's what I don't like. I don't mind wearing it, Doctor. Mm -hmm. It's all this other business. Yeah. That goes with it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess in case of a power failure, you'd have to have a backup, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, then I'd have to, I'd have to use it. But then the complex knows who's on auction. Mm -hmm. And uh, Excel, all they have to know is call Excel. And it'd be the first one, you know. Oh, so the people in your building yeah. like you. So why do they get thick? Then? You know, nails can get thick just because of genetics. They mm -hmm. can get thick because of a fungal infection, um, which I bet if we took a sample of nail and tested it, I bet that there would be some fungus in these nails. Mm -hmm. um, it can be, they can get thick from trauma, but if that's the case, usually you see it like just in one. And not in all of them. So I have one on one of my toes, but it's just, it's not bad. It's just thicker than.